Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about Rudolph and just what are the options for War Kyle, or I guess what the team could do with Kyle, kind of both potentially. But I have I have written down the three that I either think are more likely or that I like the most in general, but mainly just the three that are more likely. And option one is I think you could still kind of restructure that $7.625 million cap hit via extension given him and Irv Smith you know are very different tight ends where Kyle Rudolph's a little slower but he's a lot bigger at 6'6 almost 2'6'5 270 but he's also been measured at nearly 6'7 and so he can just offer the larger size and catch radius that comes with it where Irv Smith is only about 6'2 6'3 240 245 but is more dynamic and kind of brings in that whole <clears throat> Jordan Reed aspect to his game. So you could realistically see this happen just because they have they play two very different roles. As where, you know, Irv could be a potential Treadwell replacement, if anything, or I guess re replacement. Like he could fill that role that was filled by Laquan Treadwell, or supposed to be filled by Laquan. That never really happened. So we could see that where Rudolph kind of maintains his inline tight end role, potentially. And second one is one thing that a lot of people have talked about for a while now. And that was trading Kyle Rudolph. And that's still an option since I don't think the money gets guaranteed until week one of the 2019 regular season, which is kind of a big deal. And I think it kind of depends of what they would get in return because how, how much is he worth? Like what's his value? He's kind of more of this, this check down target kind of security blanket type that offers more range than some other security blanket types of uh, tight ends just because of his size and his catch radius. But outside of that, there's really not too much to his game. He's not the fastest guy. He's kind of up there in age. He's had a few surgeries. He's had some injuries. He's not really what teams are kind of looking for in the tight end anymore. He's kind of almost outdated. And what I mean by that is we drafted Irv Smith because that's the kind of tight end offensive coaches want these days. They don't want these giant guys who don't do well moving or maybe have some issues running routes. They, they like to have these guys as probably more as receivers as they do blockers. And Rudolph doesn't really block that well anyway. And he's not the most dynamic receiver. So... As far as that's concerned, I think we'd have very few takers on Kyle Rudolph given the salary, and I think they'd be lucky to nab a fourth-round draft pick from someone else to take Kyle Rudolph off our hands and take that $7.625 million you know, contract in. Even though it's only for one year, so that can almost be treated as a cheap franchise tag, like a well, cheaper franchise tag, and... Basically, see if he acclimates well to whatever culture we would send him to. I know a lot of people have speculated New England, which could potentially happen because they didn't out, – out of all of what there appeared to feel like 900 draft picks, I don't think they did draft a tight end, and they recently just traded one away. So who knows? Maybe that is possible, but you never know. And the third one is – I don't. A lot. This might actually grind people the wrong way, and really grind their gears. And they could bring Kyle Rudolph and Irv Smith into camp, right, and the preseason, and just see, kind of play it safe, almost see if Irv, if he can handle that tight end one role, if he can handle all of the duties of it, or if they trust him to do it. You could just cut bait with uh, good old 82 there. And I, I think that's a move a lot of fans would hate, given the fact that he has been there since 2011. He's kind of gotten hold of some of these tight end franchise records. You know, all of this kind of stuff kind of goes into the little stern pot here. And then if you do it that way, 
where if you deem Herb Smith like, oh, no, he's good enough to where he can just take over all of the duties week one and then just add Kyle Rudolph into the last wave of final cuts, there are going to be some people not happy with that at all. And that's why I was saying how that it only becomes guaranteed if he's on the roster week one could be a potentially big deal because this this third reason is why. And they would still have to find a way to either cut, trade, or you know, restructure a player in some way or some form or to sign all of the draft picks. But if they were able to do it, that is an option. And personally, I kind of hope we can do one of the first two. <laughs> and even if it's just not even from a, oh, we got to do right by him, it's more of a, you just have to look at it, like what kind of value you're getting. Because let's say you do keep Rudolph on extension, right? You all of a sudden get a pretty fun 12 personnel set to play with, with a Irv and Rudolph in there, and you could have a pretty decent three tight end set. And once you add in David Morgan into the mix, he's more of your blocking tight end, and then it kind of adds a different dynamic to the offense in general. And if you traded him, you would obviously net some kind of draft capital or maybe draft capital and some kind of player, although draft capital will obviously be lower at that point if you're adding in a player, but you get some kind of value back for him and still get rid of the six, $7.625 million cap hit for this year as opposed to just getting rid of the $7.625 million cap hit by just cutting him. But even if they decide that third route – they really do still need to find a move to, to actually do in order to uh, sign the draft picks, which I think is a bigger deal than some might think. I don't know how many people know that they actually need the room, but they do. I think they're sitting at like 1.8, 1.6 million, somewhere in that range right now in cap space, which isn't enough to get them all signed. So logically, there needs to be a move. Rudolph is probably the one a lot of people will go to, especially after drafting Irv. I think Trey Waynes, he, he's staying for this year just because of what they drafted. Are you going to trust Chris Boyd to be adequate depth for in case an injury happens? Because obviously Mike Hughes is coming back from an ACL and you got all that other stuff. But then if there's an injury and you don't have Trey Waynes and if it happens in that hole in the hill – Thing where you know he's suspended for the first month, you could be really, really hurting at depth there. So, I think Rudolph is probably the one where a lot of people will logically go and like know what you guys think down in the comments below. Till next time, I bid y'all adieu.